So I saw this interesting post on Reddit where the guy is basically saying that even though he activated his VPN, for some reason he's still receiving emails from his ISP. So maybe he's doing some torrent downloading or maybe he's doing certain activities online. But from his point of view, as soon as he activates the VPN, his ISP should have no idea what he's doing online. And to be honest, that's not completely true because there are certain conditions where even after you activate your VPN, your ISP could still potentially see what you're doing online. So in this video today, let me show you a couple of websites we can quickly access just to fully confirm that our VPN is properly activated and we're not leaking any data to our ISP. And I'll also show you one extra tip at the end on how we can take our ISP out of the name resolution equation. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, you are watching the new Tech Doctor UK Extra channel. If you're looking for the latest updates, latest streaming applications, all of your tips and tricks, and of course my live streams, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so you don't miss out. So I can tell you straight away that the most common leak for VPNs are actually DNS leaks. Now DNS, as we can see, is the domain name system. And that's basically the service or process which translates friendly web names or URLs into IP addresses. Now that we understand what DNS is, all a DNS leak is that as soon as you activate your VPN, everything on your device should now be talking to your VPN's DNS server. So the next time you try to connect to netflix.com or to any third party application, those requests should only be going to your VPN's DNS server. But in the case of a DNS leak, for whatever reason, your device is still talking to your ISP's DNS servers, asking them to translate those addresses. And that's basically how your ISP can still see what you're doing, even though you've activated your VPN. And here's a great picture that explains what the issue is. So this could be your Fire Stick or your Android device or your PC. Here's your secure VPN tunnel. So this is now where all of your traffic should be traveling. But in the case of a DNS leak, for whatever reason, your device is still talking to your ISP's DNS servers. So if they look through the logs, they can say that Tech Doctor was trying to resolve the IP address for streamingmovie.com or for netflix.com or whatever I'm trying to do, those requests were still going to the ISP and not through the VPN tunnel. And that once again is essentially what a DNS leak is. So with all of that information, how can we now actually check to see if our VPN is leaking those queries or not? Now the easiest way to do that on your device, whether it's a Fire Stick or your PC or your Nvidia Shield, is to open up your favorite browser. Now on my device, I'm doing this on the 4K Fire Stick. I've not activated my VPN. I'm just gonna open up my browser, which is going to be Downloader. And in the address bar, let's just type in DNS leak and click on go. So we're just searching for that phrase DNS leak. And the actual website we want is called dnsleaktest.com. So scroll down and the first one on the list is dnsleaktest.com. So let's click on that. Now, when you get to the site, the first thing it will show you is your current IP address. Now, obviously, when you haven't activated your VPN, you'll see your current IP address uh, issued by your ISP. And once we do turn on our VPN, that address should definitely change. And if it doesn't change, then you've got some issues with your VPN. So the first thing I want to do in here is just click on uh, extended test. And this will now basically do multiple DNS queries from my device to work out which DNS servers is my device using. Now, as I mentioned that on my device, I've not activated the VPN, so this should just use my current configured DNS servers. And we can see with my results, it's found the Cloudflare DNS servers. And the reason for that is in my house, I actually use the Cloudflare DNS servers. I don't use my ISP's DNS servers. And that's basically the bonus tip I had for you that you can actually configure your router or your router. So instead of using your ISP's DNS servers, it can use public DNS servers like Google DNS or Cloudflare, or there's lots of different other public DNS servers out there. And what that means is whether I'm using a VPN or not, my DNS requests are never going to my ISP. They're going to a third party like Cloudflare or one of the other providers. Okay, let's back out of that. So let me now activate my VPN. So my VPN is now activated and I'm using a server in New York. Let's press the home button. Let's go back to the same website. 
and we can see straight away that it now thinks I'm in New York and the IP address has changed. And if I now click on extended test, so if everything's working properly, all of these DNS requests should now go to the IP vanish DNS servers and not my current configured servers, which are the Cloudflare ones. Let's go down and we can see it's done exactly that. So this is a DNS server, uh, must be owned by IP vanish and it's running in United States. So that just confirms that when I do activate my VPN, my device is no longer using my current configured DNS servers. It's now using my VPN DNS servers. Now the second website, which is really good for this is ipleak.net. Now, as soon as you get to the site, it'll do a quick scan of your system. It'll tell you what your current IP address is and it'll also check to see if there's any DNS leaks on your uh, device. And then we can just confirm that once again, the only DNS server you can see I'm using is the one in United States and not my current configured DNS server. And let's back out of that. And just before you go, guys, if you are looking for a new VPN or maybe if you're not happy with your current VPN, IP Vanish, who are one of our channel partners, are offering a great discount at the moment where you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at just $3.99 a month. So really at that price to get all of that protection across all of your devices at really fast speeds with confirmed zero logging, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. And at the same time, it also helps support my channel. So really appreciate your support. Do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.